I'm tired of seeing battle manga being downplayed as fast food content. Out of all the genres and subgenres in anime and manga, the battle genre is the greatest and continually puts out amazing content, and I'm about to tell you why. To fit into the battle subgenre, the only real requirement is that conflict is solved through characters fighting. This type of fighting is usually martial arts or a power system. The basic formula for a battle manga is to have the story separated into multiple arcs. Each arc has the protagonist having a conflict with the antagonist, and at the end of the arc, the two fight. Formulas are usually looked at as bad, but that is not true. A formula is neither bad or good, it all depends on how the writer uses the formula and executes their idea. This battle formula is extremely effective and versatile, and as I go through different points, you'll see why. The next part is the themes. When I consume a story, I am interested in the plot, characters, themes, and setting. The setting is the least important, but the other three are crucial. If a story isn't saying something, in most cases, the story has wasted my time. I need to be able to take some kind of message away when I walk away. Battle manga excel at this. They have basic and unique themes. The basic ones usually involve the importance of friendship, family, and bonds. As I said in my Shonen vs Shonen video, these themes may not be unique, but they pack a punch. They can teach kids helpful lessons or remind adults of lessons they've forgotten. They can and have impacted the lives of many of their viewers. Simple but positive themes like this can create so much pathos. These broad themes connect to the viewers on an emotional level that goes beyond just good writing. It's part of the reason why viewers have such a strong attachment to these stories in this subgenre. But these manga can also have unique themes. Because of the simple format of the story, battle manga can explore nearly any theme that the author desires. All they need to do is have two characters fight over it, with one side supporting the theme and the other side against it. The Andy's Lobby arc can tell a story about wanting to live over sacrificing yourself for the greater good. The Sasuke Recovery arc can tell a story about the difference between sympathy and empathy. The Soul Society arc can tell a story about upholding traditions versus doing what you think is right. The Jinchu arc can tell a story that asks whether or not a person who has taken a life can ever truly make amends. The Chapter Black Saga tells a story that shows how evil and monstrous humans can be and have been in the past. There is almost nothing a battle manga can't create a message about. Furthermore, these messages are frequently executed clearly, leaving very little room for misunderstanding if the viewer pays attention. Because of this range between universal and mature themes, manga under the subgenre are allowed to appeal to a broader audience. Another story element that is great and facilitates the theme is the plot. The first aspect of the battle formula that facilitates the wide range of themes is the story arcs. These manga separate their plot into multiple contained short stories that build up into a larger one. This allows for an author to choose at least one theme per arc, and when the story spans multiple arcs over 200 chapters, several different themes will be covered. The story arcs also support the story reaching long lengths because arcs can be improvised since each has a start and an end. A longer story leads to more messages. How many other genres or subgenres can accomplish that? As for the battle part, stories rarely ever run with a bare bones formula. Authors have created such unique and entertaining plots around the good guys fighting the bad guy base. There are plot lines that have been used by multiple different stories but always remain effective and entertaining. I called them super arcs in my Naruto Dilemma video. This is where two groups in conflict duke it out in one long arc. Each individual fight is usually gone into detail and characters can even have multiple battles. Examples would be the Soul Society, Andy's Lobby, and Sasuke Recovery. Tournament arc and exam arcs are also examples of unoriginal but successful arcs. But authors can get even more unique and create plots that haven't been really told before. The Fullbring arc has Ichigo joining a group of superpowered individuals in order to get his powers back, only for them to betray him and reveal that they were using him. Diamond is Unbreakable has an arc where the citizens are searching for a mass murderer who's living in their city and has killed their friend. The Balbod arc from Magi has main characters trying to solve a political crisis in the titular country. The list goes on. Battle manga can hop between genres for each arc due to the versatility of the plot's structure. After one arc is finished, the storytelling can completely switch styles. Next is the setting. The setting can be anything. This can be said about almost any plot related genre, but how many successful stories in one genre have you seen with vastly unique settings? Battle manga can take place in the real world like Kenshin, the real world with supernatural additions like Jujutsu, or a completely fantastical world like several popular manga. And with the fantasy worlds, the sky's the limit. So many different intricacies can be added to the world, and the longer the story goes, the more fleshed out they become. Stories can have ever-expanding worlds like One Piece. Stories can have different realms of existence like Bleach and Yu Yu Hakusho. Stories can have specific countries and nations like Naruto and Magi. Nearly anything can be done. These worlds also facilitate the unique plot lines and story arcs. Sometimes they may even have an effect on the themes. But my favorite part about any battle setting is the power system. 
Power systems are possibly the greatest thing to happen to action and fantasy stories, and battle manga consistently provide the best written and most creative ones. A good power system doesn't just make the fights even cooler than it already could be, it creates a unique and engaging way for the conflict to be solved in the story. The reasons for a character winning a fight become much clearer, understandable, and potentially predictable in a good way. When done right, the catharsis is so satisfying. It's a kind of satisfaction that no other form of problem solving can really replicate. Next are the backstories. The unique setting can really allow the backstories to go crazy. A good backstory will show you the key moments of a character's past that make them who they are in the present. They could also elaborate on a personality trait or give a character a goal. When your genre's plot and setting are so loose and versatile, you can write almost anything you can come up with and have it work. Naruto can write a character whose clan was slaughtered by his older brother and now wants revenge. One Piece can write a character whose battleships end up being used for evil and getting his mentor killed. Bleach can write a character who is willing to sacrifice his sister in order to uphold traditions because he is the role model of his society. And finally, battle manga are exciting. The kind of spectacle they provide in and out of fights is almost unmatched. Everything from the choreography to the power systems combine to create memorable and adrenaline rushing scenes. In conclusion, battle manga have nearly unlimited creativity in the characters, plot, setting, and themes, along with other advantages that make the subgenre so dominant. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my manga for free online. If you enjoy my content, please consider donating to my Patreon. All important links will be in the description.